You know, I just want to know, yeah, mm -hmm. this uh, calculated to wound my self-respect and touch the honor of the person injured, yes, uh, to humiliate or degrade uh, myself in the view of others, yes. Now, the term injuria uh, is best used in its original proper sense in the wrong, mm -hmm. In just contrary to law, the modern use of injury as a synonym for damage <laughs> is unfortunate, but inveterate. Oh, <laughs> now I know when you arrested me at the Salvation Army, you meant no wrong. Yes, it seems that the police department yeah, does not believe in the precise limitations of the jurisdiction of the use of traffic citations. Oh, <laughs> and then you put me in jail. Yes, and you had the intention of injuring me. Yes, injuring my reputation. Yeah, my self-respect. Yeah, and the honor that I think of about myself. Pooh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now, um, this idea, yes, of the abuse of power. Yeah, the harassment, mm. the torment. Oh. The torture, oh, the whole thought that your job is to injure American citizens. Is that your job? Is that why you have a badge on? To injure those, to assault people and their reputations and their physical bodies. Poop. Now, from the time that you decided, right, that we're going to use a traffic citation, knowing that I did not violate any of the restraint pr 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 provisions, right? <laughs> because I had emailed you on November 15th, right? Mm -hmm. That the petitioner, yes, November 15th of 2015, did not sign the protection order. Oh, I was not given any due process. Yes, there was no actual enforcement of the laws. Now, exhibit A, Jack. Poop. Clallam County decided to issue a protection order. Isn't that right, Barbara Christensen? Yes. Well, there is no court address. There is no court telephone number. <laughs> These five minors named are in the wrong grades. Yes. And quite possibly have been in the wrong grades for seven and a half years. Mm -hmm. Now, your intention is to injure the intellect of my sons. Yes. Depriving them of the education they deserve. Mm -hmm. Injuria, yes. Let's see how humiliating it is and degrading it is. Yes. To be uh, five inches taller than all the other uh, classmates. Mm -hmm. And you look around and you ask yourself, why am I in this school? Right. Now, as I said, you will forfeit every football game. <laughs> I will sue each and every school district that thinks that degrading, mm -hmm, humiliating, and injuring students is in the best interest of the children. Oh, oh, oh. Now, as soon as I informed you, civil rights coordinators, that my sons were being injured, yes, it's humiliating being in the wrong grades. See, when you're 17 years old and you're a sophomore in high school, yes, and you should be a senior, yes, there are certain freedoms that you get to experience each grade of being in school. Yes, a sophomore doesn't get to do what seniors get to do because you're a sophomore. Yes. Now, I did actually go to high school. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I went to public school, yes. I went to Jefferson Elementary School from approximately the second grade, yes, until the sixth grade. Yeah. I went to Sacagawea Junior High, the seventh and eighth grades, yes. I went to Lewis and Clark High School, the ninth, tenth, and eleventh grades, yes. And then I was an exchange student at Norsenbue Gymnasium in Denmark, the twelfth grade of my high school, yes. I have an actual diploma from high school, mm. Now, if you had kept me behind two grades, right, I would have gotten irritated as a student because I know the peer group that I should have been in the whole time I was going to school. Yes. yes. It's not that my sons are retarded. Yes. It's that you refuse to enforce the laws of the United States. Now, it's injurious. Yes. It, uh, it really speaks to the reputation of what they've had to bear for the last seven and a half years. Yes. And uh, it's somewhat humiliating knowing that I'm the same age as the seniors yes. when I'm a 
more. <laughs> I'm the same age as the juniors, yes, when I'm a freshman. <laughs> I'm the same age as the sophomores when I'm in eighth grade. Oh, oh. Now, I know right now mm -hmm. the injury that you're going to get sued for, for refusing to acknowledge the obligation to give me custody of my sons. Superintendents of schools. Principals, uh, professional persons in the employment of every school district in the United States. I will so completely eradicate the assets that you have. <laughs>